afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey and we are over here at Cable Channel 3 serving St. John City and the city of Maxwell and you can also get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org and we invite you every time to come by and visit us and this morning is a cold wet morning so if you want a nice hot cup of coffee come by and visit us at the south side of the square. Our weather for today, Friday, October the 18th. The theme for the day is October chill everywhere because it's cold and chilly all over the Midwest. Over the greater Midwest, um, the weather condition, it's breezy, windy, cold, and wet. And there's a weak weather system that's been bringing these scattered light showers from the northern plains. It is um, just cold enough to cause a little snow uh, to mix in with the rain, but with no significant um, pattern for any great accumulation. Another system will bring um, some more chilly rains from the Rockies and it will cover all of Kansas and Missouri. And in the north of Kansas and in our area, it will snow uh, mixed in with the rain. The highs will be chilly as well with the mercury rising only between 40 and 50 for the highs and the, that weather pattern will remain unsettled and cold into the weekend and throughout most of next week. But right now in the square, the, the skies are overcast and it's densely cloudy. It's filled with snow and a light rain and since the temperature is only at 30 degrees. So we've been having a light snow and some rain and that would be the pattern for the next six hours we can expect to see that pattern persist with the winds coming in from the north, northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. This cold high for today is going to be just at 45 um, with some steady showers. And the low for tonight, um, it's, it's going to be right at 33 uh, with the rain clearing early but this could be a record setting low or at least near the record lows for this time of the year. So it is pretty cool. Over the weekend, we should, we should see the sun come out on Saturday and Sunday and the high on Saturday at 67 degrees and the low at 41 with a wind at 14 miles per hour. And Sunday should bring some more sun, the high is at 74 and the lows at 56 with the winds coming in from the south at 40 miles per hour. And there's no um, rain in the forecast for the weekend, so we can look forward to a better weekend than today. In our community, we want to wish Elaine Green a happy birthday. That was um, yesterday. And today it's Diane Getty's birthday. Tomorrow it will be little Carly Regal. And on Sunday, it's Howard Coyne, Richard Smith, and Carmen Schmidt. And um, please call everyone and wish them a happy birthday if you see them going around in the square. But more than that, come out on Sunday between um, 1 and 3 and come to celebrate Dick's 70th birthday. It's a surprise. He does know, <laughs> um, but come and celebrate with Dick at the Fisher's Barn at 512 East 3rd Avenue between 1 and 3 and celebrate with Dick his 70th birthday. Happy birthday, Dick. A couple Sundays ago, um, the community gathered for the crop walk. So Pete and Arnie Witt, who are the coordinators for the crop, want to send a big thank you to all of Stafford for um, a very successful crop walk. Over 35 people um, gathered, volunteers, to some driving the trucks and um, giving water and ice cold drinks to people as they walk and there were over 35 volunteers. 
So it was a very good, successful um, turnout. Upon finishing the five and a half mile walk, um, the walkers and everybody else was entertained with a picnic that was supplied by the Hudson Senior Center. And they were able to collect over 3,800, $3,833 in donations where it was given. So that was very successful and the wits won. And everybody wants to thank you people who walked for that worthy cause. Tomorrow, Saturday, the Stafford County Bounty. Um, that's been sponsored by the Ministerial Alliance. They're sponsoring a food packing event. They're planning to pack over 20,000 meals, 20,000 meals um, that can be used for people in our Stafford area here and all over the Midwest. They will be meeting at the school at 418 East Broadway, the Trojan Hall. Um, at 418 East Broadway and they plan to be there from 9 o'clock. Uh, they need volunteers and they will also accept your monetary um, donations. So please call Jim Dillon at 620-786-5845 for signing up and for more information on that, that other um, worthwhile endeavor sponsored by the Stafford County Ministerial Alliance. And tomorrow, on, on Sunday, um, it's going to be the 27th annual turkey dinner at the St. John Catholic Witch Center. Um, that's going to be from 12 until 1.30, and everyone is invited. And if you do come, please bring a, a non-perishable food item to be noted donated to the local food bank and receive a free ticket for the raffle. And they're going to be raffling uh, queen size quilts and bicycles and various other gift certificates. And there's home delivery if the weather is unkind or if you just can't come out, please call over at the Witch Center, call 549-3847. They will be happy to pack a a big turkey dinner, keep it nice and warm and deliver it to you at your home address. And that's only $10. So don't forget, on Sunday, the, 20, the 27th annual turkey dinner at the Catholic Wit Center from 12 until 1.30. Mark your calendars also for the commodity distribution at the senior the Sunflower Senior Center, and that will be on Tuesday the 22nd. And if you plan to pick up um, the package for someone other than yourself, please remember that there's a form that you're required to sign, so stop by the Senior Center and get that form to sign or plan to sign it when, once you go there. That's just an administrative requirement by the powers that be. They have to do it. The Friends of the Library want to remind you that it's the National Friends of the Library Week, October 20th through the 25th, and get ready for nomination. Nomination, And they will be planting little gnomes all around the city uh, on your yard to remind you to sign up for a membership at the library and um, they'll be giving away some gift certificates for coffee or cappuccino at the, at the library. And the thought here that they sent to us, it's the friends of the library, even the smell of a library lifts my heart. Libraries have been a treasured part of my life oh, ever since I realized I couldn't possibly afford to own or house all the books I wanted to read. That is somewhat my sentiment too. So please don't forget to join up the library and go by the library and um, pick up your certificate. Friends of the Library Week. Uh, the, it goes through from the 20th to the 26th. Also mark your, li um, your calendars for Saturday, October the 26th. It's going to be a pizza and movie at 
Um, the pizza will be at Poppy's Pizza. They will gather at 5 o'clock um, to meet at Poppy's Pizza. Then they will plan to spend an hour over supper and leave there by 6 o'clock to go to big great band uh, for the movie at the Golden Belt Cinema 6. And um, you, there you can have a choice of what movie you w wish to watch because there's several um, movies that the, that cinema offer and the cost is only $20 so that sounds like a lot of fun. Pop, pizza and movie on October the 26th. Today over in Maxville they are serving up some roast beef and um, scalloped potatoes, California blend vegetables, and bread pudding. I think that sounds yummy for a cold afternoon. Uh, on Monday, they'll be serving up uh, spaghetti with meat sauce and green beans and a tossed salad. And on Tuesday, it'll be Polish sausage, mashed potatoes, and sauerkraut. All very appetizing, but please don't forget to call over at the center if you want your meals delivered and um, they'll be happy to do so. Today over at the Sunflower Center, they're serving up a beef stew, scall scalloped potatoes and apples, and a zesty broccoli salad, and ice cream. And um, on Monday, it should be grilled steak with mushrooms, buttered potatoes, breaded tomatoes, stuffed peach salad, cream tart with topping, and on Tuesday, roast beef with gravy, creamy mashed potatoes, parsley buttered carrots, and a fresh fruit salad and sherbet. All very appetizing. And we have been reminding you to get your flu shots, and we have been talking about um, flu fighting foods. So our thought, or food for thought today, are almonds. Almonds. These popular nuts are a rich source of anti antioxidant vitamin E, which helps your body ward off viral infections. And to maximize the effect of the um, almonds, do have them chopped, or you can have almond butter or almond oil. So our food for thought today, another um, anti-flu fighting food, it's almonds. So thank you very much and don't forget the celebrations a surprise party for Dick Smith and turkey dinner over at the Catholic Center. Have a great weekend.